All right, so I'm going to rattle off a bunch of nonsense here. And uh, if you follow along, cool. If not, thanks for watching anyway. Give it a go. Anyway, this is my 98 Cherokee on 35s. Um, yeah, steering was pretty hard to turn after having the front locker in. Uh, you'd be fighting it on the trails and whatnot. So I need something just to help with being able to do tighter turns and steer when I wanted to. Not when the locker wanted me to. Uh, hydro assist seemed like the right move, but the kits were, I don't know, 1700 bucks from PSC. So I went on the forums and found out how to do this. And it actually worked out really well. Uh, steering is like one-handed, not even. You know, you, you get really easy steering. And uh, down the highway, it still drives great. Versus maybe a full hydro where you wouldn't want to drive it on the street. So I'll start at the beginning at the steering box. I did a tap on these. You drill it and you tap out on the two ports. Um, it's a quarter by 18 and NPT um, tap, just like you would use in pipe or whatever. Um, yeah, it was pretty easy. I didn't take part of the box. I just drilled it and it was very careful so I didn't get metal shavings inside. And uh, it worked out pretty well. These are two uh, 45 degree angle JIC six fittings. So it goes from quarter NPT to JIC six. And uh, out of the steering box, you have two hoses. Um, these hoses, actually the one closer on the driver's side is a little bit long as you can see, but they're three eighths hoses and uh, I got them online pre-made, which was really easy. I got a spare one too, just in case I pop one on the trail. Uh, but yeah, they're JIC6, 3 8 diameter, and that feeds out to our ram, which is the same thing. JIC6 fittings, both of them, they're both 90 degree fittings, and they're to, I believe this is called an SAE6 on the ram. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. And the ram itself is a one and a half by eight inch stroke by one inch diameter rod. Um, actually it works pretty good. A lot of people say that they have problems turning fast, um, but I do have the WJ steering pump and because of that, I think I'm not having those issues. Uh, it's barely even noticeable. It's just a lot easier steering, which is pretty cool. To mount the ram up, uh, I went pretty much as simple as I could go. These are three quarter inch bolts here. Um, and they I got the fine thread ones to go in. So I just bought a nut, I bought the bolt, and this is like a, uh, I don't know if it's made for rams or steering stabilizers on bigger tie rods, but uh, I just ended up cutting off what was on there and welding on a fine thread nut that matches this bolt, three quarters bolt, like I said. And uh, I mean, it's, it's holding up great. It's got a locking washer on it and I put a washer on each side. And then I did the same thing pretty much on this side. Uh, I just welded it straight to the freaking track bar bracket. So um, yeah, I mean, I don't see any issues with it. The Ram can move up and down as it pleases and also back and forth um so it's been pretty good so far um one thing i would like to address like i said earlier in the video is this hose is too long these are both 36 inch hoses uh so yeah maybe someday i'll get a 24 or a custom length for this thing but for now it's it's doing just fine another couple of things i wanted to add uh yeah so this will be welded on there once i get the right length and also um this is an eight inch stroke ram for Dana 30s. I think the throw is only about six inches. So it's two inches longer. And uh, that basically will help you if you're running a bigger axle, like uh, I believe some Dana 44s, Dana 60. So right now it's overkill. If I ever do step up, I'll be able to have the same amount of throw and not get a new ram. All right, so here's the tools that I use to drill and tap the box. Uh, first is this 29 64 drill bit. Uh, you want to use a 29 64 versus the 7 16 so you can get a little bit further down on these taps. Um, when you're going through that really thick steel, it's kind of hard with the 7 16 to get to the bottom. 
uh, but you're gonna wanna do that so your fitting goes in deep enough. Uh, on the bottom hole, it's, once you break through the steel, there's only about a half an inch until you hit the other side. So that's why you have to cut down a tap. Uh, I kind of really did a bad job, but it did the job correctly and uh, worked out great. So yeah, two taps, uh, I cut the one down and then in the end I used some of this yellow thread tape, which worked great. Under the hood, um, I not much has changed really. It's a WJ pump here. It's a super easy upgrade, get some more flow. Um, and I'm also running a power steering cooler. I think that was like 20 bucks off Amazon. So that's pretty much the majority of what you have to do. And you will have hydro assist here. Uh, one more thing before I do this outro. Um, I bought everything from Surplus Center. I never heard of them before I did this whole job, but they actually did really well, like in terms of getting my stuff quickly, good prices, and uh, a really easy website to go through. So the part numbers I'm gonna list uh, in the description are gonna be from them. I spent about uh, just under $250, including tax and shipping for everything in this. So RAM, fittings, extra fittings, extra fittings, extra lines, all that stuff. So um, yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it. Until next time, I hope it just helps one person with Hydro Assist. If you have any questions, hit me up. But besides that, thanks for watching.